receive the scepter of everlasting dynasty royalty will run in your generation 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 let your image turn louder let it rise let it rise let it rise let it rise let it rise, let it rise. I decree it is done what others were denied shall be given to you receive it of the Lord receive it of the Lord let your amen thunder louder spiritual life today as we prepare to listen to this message that awaits you the blessings of God are upon you may you receive the wisdom to discern and understand beyond the spoken word kindly engage with us through the comment section below sharing your thoughts and reflection we encourage you to support our work by giving this video a thumbs up don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated for all our next messages in your new year welcome to our channel we are glad you joined us thanks for subscribing may the grace of god be with you guiding your part and illuminating your heart amen Wherever you are, bring out your anointed oil. Lord, we pray over every oil. This is to be ordinary. We set it apart from every common use. Let it be your power. Let it be your grace. Father, we pray over every hand the oil will be poured into. Father, let your will be done and let your power be expressed in the name of Jesus. There are several proclamations God has asked me to make in this particular third service. Would you get the oil and anoint your forehead? And I do as I've been commanded. Shabura di Kazebo do Sakatea. As your two hands are lifted, having anointed yourself, hear me as I hear the Lord. Kajabala Koda. Any pain that has lasted in your life, any pain that has lasted in your life, Shobala Kada, you have entered a week where they will be rolled away. Oh, the louder your amen, the louder they'll turn around. They are rolled away right now. Rolled away right now. Rolled away right now. Rolled away right now. Let your amen turn the louder. Gather oil and anoint yourself again. And lift up your two hands. Shabarado kosia balabaha. Rakoteja. What you have on you is the oil of congratulations and celebrations. The oil of congratulations and celebrations. At the sound of your amen. Rakoda bashada. Let your congratulations. Let your celebrations. Let them appear right now. Appear right now. Appear right now. Appear right now. Let your amen turn the louder. Anoint yourself again for the third time and lift up those two hands before God. Shabaro de Casende Libero, Akataba Libero, Shiada Balaba, Rakada Yabosa. I don't know who you are. But you are either here or connected to the service. You have a child that is blind. You have a child that is blind. Before you return home, if this is the word of the Lord, I don't know what caused the blindness. I command the blind eyes open right now. Open. Open. Let your image turn the louder. I don't know who you are, but since the later part of last year, the Spirit of God told me there was an attack on your business and everything began to go down. Everything began to go down in two weeks. In two weeks, if you will believe the word of God's servant, as your two hands are lifted, I announce, let everything rise again. Let everything rise again. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let, it rise. Let your amen turn the louder. Shadi bono kotaraba. 
Rada boshi katale borosia. Katale borosende ya. Kasha. I don't know who you are, but as your two hands are lifted. Shaboro diasada. The Spirit of God said, you have had the surgery two times. And they're saying there's going to be a third one. I don't know what it is for, but by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I decree it is reversed right now. It is re reversed right now. It is reversed right now. Get the oil and anoint yourself. I don't know how to explain what I'm about to declare, but just lift up your two hands. This is the way the Lord spoke to me to declare. As your amen will thunder, Hear me as I hear the Lord. The Lord is about to cause people to perceive you in a way that is bigger than your appearance. They will perceive you in a way bigger than your appearance. Your perception is rising. He's rising in the eyes. He's rising in the eyes. He's rising in the eyes. Let your amen turn louder. As your two hands are lifted, ah, anoint yourself again. Anoint yourself again. Barado koshadi balaha. Rakatebolo shadi yara. Paradi kosoto. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Shabala Bakosa. But anything that is in your foundation that is threatening your advancement, as your amen will thunder, I decree they are broken right now. They are broken right now. They are broken right now. hear me as i hear the lord anoint yourself as i declare again that thing you call your little as your amen will thunder because it is your season of divine laughter I announce the Lord is multiplying it right now. It is multiplied right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let your amen turn the louder. Okay. I don't know who you are, but the Lord said to me, I am saving you from that mistake that will block your destiny. There is a family under the sound of my voice all throughout these days you've been fasting your children have been a priority for you you have continued to mention your children every day of this fast welcome to their week of laughter anoint yourself again and lift your two hands before the lord shaboraya that thing that will make your joy complete that thing that will make you not laugh and cry at the same time that thing that will make your joy complete as your amen will thunder carry it right now carry it right now carry it right now carry it right now let your amen thunder louder i don't know who you are but the lord said to me to tell you i did not bring you this far to put off your light I did not bring you this far to bring you to a place of frustration. I did not bring you this far to bring you to a place where you will cry. If your amen will thunder louder, what you thought was the end of the road. In three days from now till Wednesday, a new chapter is open right now. Let your amen thunder louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Anoint yourself again. Anoint yourself and lift up your two hands. Areas of your life that has been dormant. Abilities that you have that you didn't even know that you had. Great.
graces that are dormant in your life that you didn't even know that you have hear me as I hear the Lord in this week of your laughter let them all begin to manifest right now let it begin to bust out let it begin to bust out let it begin to bust out let your amen turn the louder anoint yourself this prayer is beyond you it's going to cross you to your children and to your children's children as your amen will thunder receive the scepter of everlasting dynasty royalty will run in your generation 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 let your image turn the louder let it rise 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 i decree it is done what others were denied shall be given to you receive it of the Lord receive it of the Lord let your amen thunder louder wherever you are open your Bibles to Genesis chapter 18 we read Genesis chapter 18 Genesis chapter 18 somebody help me thunder see my laughter has come so we're going to read the book of Genesis chapter 18 from verse 1 to 8 and we're going to quickly run okay we're going to read really down from verse 1 to 15 hallelujah and then we're going to go to chapter 21 there are a few things and the Lord began to say how to get ready for your divine laughter how to get ready getting ready for your divine laughter somebody help me shall say I'm ready if you believe it can you turn that louder amen thank you holy spirit today I, I pray for you i activate every old thing that we're forgotten every proposal every cv every phone call every sms every promise that was made to you that they have kept in view or they have forgotten if this is the word of the lord from now to the next 11 days shabala it is activated by grace Activated by grace, let your amen turn the louder. Can we read together? Church want to go, and the Lord appeared unto him in the place of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. But he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, my lord if now i have found favor in thy sight pass not away i pray thee from thy servant let a little water i pray you be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree and i will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your heart after that ye shall pass on for therefore are ye come to your servant and they said so do as thou hast said and Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the hearth. And Abraham ran unto the head and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto a young man. And he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, thy wife Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. And he ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh? 
saying, Shall I of a shorty bear a child which I'm old? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. So let's quickly run to 21, the book of Genesis 21, and we'll start reading from verse 1. Can we read together, church? And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was brought unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac being eight days old as God had commanded him and Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him six and seven and Sarah said God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me verse seven and the last and she said who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck for I have borne him a son in his old age. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you make your word and your will known unto us. Let there be none of any man but all of you. Lord, we are ready. We are ready for that laughter. We are ready for what you are about to do. Father, we are ready, O oh God. We are ready, O oh God. Do unto us, O oh God, according to your word. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. amen. On the way to your seat, can your amen thunder louder? I wish your amen will rise louder than it is. Somebody lift up your right hand and thunder say, I am ready for my laughter. Oh, that didn't sound like you were really ready. But please, can you help me declare, say, I am ready for my laughter. Take your seat in the presence of God, people of God. Chapter 18 lays the foundation on how God eventually gave Abraham laughter and then gave them a son and Abraham looked at it and said, there is nothing that is better to call this son than to call him laughter. People of God, but chapter 18 was it that laid the foundation for the laughter of chapter 21. People of God, getting ready for your divine laughter. Bible says that Abraham was seating. This was Father Abraham seating eating at the tent door the bible says it was in the heat it was in the heat of the day that abraham was sitting all of a sudden abraham begins to see three men and then he looks there were three men that stood by him and he saw them and then he went forth to meet them for one second please come with me let's rewrite the bible in one second can i ask you a question what if abraham was inside now Abraham was sitting by the tent door. From where he was, he was able to look at and Shaddai, and he's able to see these three men. These three men. My question is, what if Abraham was sitting inside? People of God, for a man to be ready to meet face to face with his divine laughter, he has to be rightly positioned. Am I communicating? People of God, how many times did your laughter come to Lagos but you were in Abuja? How many times? Kosha, let me tell you, somebody is looking for somebody like you. Somebody is looking for the person doing the kind of business you are doing. Somebody is looking for... But the truth of the matter is that your path and their path has refused to cross. There is somebody that likes you the way you are. All the men you have met, you are too short. If only you were, too, you were a little taller than this. I know that you are meeting the wrong people. I'm telling you the truth. There is a man who is looking for somebody as short as you are. You have not just been rightly positioned. There are people who look at you and they say, Ah, you know what? If only you were a little bit slower with the way you communicate. You talk too fast. That is the problem. You walk too fast. You do. But there are people who like you the way you are. There are people who are looking for what you carry. There are people who are looking for your skill. There are people who are looking for your capacity. You are sitting back here and you are telling me, Pastor, if only I graduated from the university. There are people who want to be university graduates, but they are not looking for certificates. They are looking for, do you have the skill? Can you do this thing? If you can do this thing, I'm ready to give you the job. Can I pray for you? The Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. He borrowed the Kashada. As your amen was under, the Lord is ordering your steps right. 
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Be ordered into your laughter. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Can I pray for 700 of you if you will believe this prophet of God and if you will believe the word of God over your life the next 11 days your feet will be ordered to the place of your laughter your feet will be ordered to the place of your laughter I announce right positioning, right positioning, right positioning, right positioning, right positioning. You will be positioned rightly, positioned rightly, positioned rightly, positioned rightly. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Shabala Korada. Shabali Katanaba, get ready. This is going to be that week. Shabala Korazadea, Barada. You will know why the Lord will lead you to some places, but you're going to find your feet connecting to the feet of your helper. Shabala Kazaha, you are going to find strange divine connections. You will, when you appear there, they will say it's the right time. When you show up there, they will say it's the time that God has ordained. Kashabali Karazaya, Amarodi Kazaya when you pick up your phone to make that call they will say you are making the call at the right time if you understand what I said let your amen turn louder I want you to say it seven times I am rightly positioned that's right Shabariah Let your amen turn the louder. Can I pray for you? Powers that dislocate man. Powers that put you away from what you are looking for. Are the sound of your amen? I announce they are broken right now. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat in the presence of God. People of God, this was where the miracle, Shabaliada, this was where the miracle of um, Abraham began from. So I do not know why God is asking me to do this. Please open your two hands. Whatever you are looking for, Shabaliada, Sodaba, Lekoto shada para kodaba so kate abashada lepor toka sada ha as your amen and the amen of God's people will turn that I decree take it right now God have seen their mockery they think you will not come out of it but the Lord said I should let you know I am the author and the finisher. They didn't write your story. They will not determine your future. Go and prevail. Lift up your right hand. Declare, say, I am rightly positioned. I feel like you should thunder it louder. Say, I am rightly positioned. I want to use this woman as a point of contact if there is something that is missing in your life get on your knees that's i'm not talking you know this is important you are searching for it you are searching for it you are searching for it you've been praying about it you've been fasting about it i say kubala jaya i use her blessing as a point of contact to everyone under the sound of my voice in the week that we have entered into what you have been looking for go and carry it right now go and carry it right now carry it right now may you return on Sunday with a testimony take your seat somebody help me thunder say it is done I feel like you should thunder like you really mean to say it is done 
Can you scream it like you understand it? Say it is done. Take your seats in the presence of God. People of God, do you understand that when the Lord gave that word, and when the Lord gave the word, let me pray for your family. Any dark cloud that causes men to rise and fall, they rise and fall, they have their bright days, but it doesn't last. It doesn't last. It doesn't last. It doesn't last. Some of you are living in your former glory. In your former glory. Ah, 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 ah. As your amen will thunder, let every day cloud disappear right now. Break my fire. Break my fire. Break my fire. Let there be light. Let there be light. Light of joy. Light of rising. Light of a turn around. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Take your seat. Shabalayara. The Lord has remembered you. Shabbat. The Lord has remembered you. The Lord has remembered you. Let your amen thunder louder. 